it's really important to make sure you're working the abs in the correct way. A lot of people just go straight into ab exercises and think that the harder you work out, the better. And that's not often the case. So quite often I'll see people and they'll be doing sit-ups, which is one of my sort of pet peeves really. They'll be doing sit-ups and they'll be like, doming their abs out and they'll be flinging themselves up and their feet will be lifting off. And really there's not much ab work going on at all. The other thing that I see a lot of is when people don't have the control and it goes into their back. So then you're hurting your back. So those are the things that we need to make sure you're aware of before we get started with all the ab workouts. So when you're on the ground, this is like a bit of Pilates 101. When you're on the ground, you've got your natural curve underneath your lower back. This is called neutral spine. Okay, so we're not flat backed. We've got that sort of S-shaped curve. So if you were to place your hand underneath there, some people have got more of a curve than others. Now, if you have a massive arch underneath your lower back, I would recommend that you come into an imprinted position. It's a Pilates terminology, and all that means is without squeezing, squeezing your bum and your hips, you're just going to squeeze your belly button to kind of tilt your back slightly into the ground. Now, I'm not crushing my hand underneath here. It's just a small little tilt that's getting my abs engaged and it's, it's reducing that arch in my back. Um, if you're beginner at abs, this is probably a safer position to be in than neutral and you'll see why in a second. So when we come up to do our exercises, you should be able to lift one leg and then the other without the back arching. If you're struggling to get both legs up because the back arches, then you need to take it right down to basics, ignore some of the exercises that we do and just work on one leg at a time, keeping the back perfectly still, reaching out and in and then do the other leg and then slowly build it up so that you're really able to keep that control as you lift the second leg up. If you find getting into tabletop position, which is what this is, then you need to think about the next level, which is reaching a leg away. Now, the further down that leg goes, the heavier it gets. So the more your stomach has to work. So the higher up is easier. So go with your limitations. So if I were to do this in a neutral position and my leg goes too far and I start to arch, I'm exaggerating, I start to really arch my back, I can place my whole hand underneath it now. My stomach's just given up, it's popping out and my back's doing all the work to kind of hold me in this horrible position and then back in again and I get back into that neutral position. So that's sometimes why it's better to start slightly imprinted, slightly rounded, so that as you reach away, if you do come into an arch, you just come into neutral, you don't end up hyperextending, so going into too big an arch. So those are your couple of options. I hope I haven't confused you with that. So as we reach away, if you're in that imprinted position, your back is slightly closer to the ground than it was when you were in neutral, you're reaching away and back. Now, as soon as I take both legs away, it's a lot harder. And I'm going to, again, make sure that my back doesn't arch. So I'm only going as low as I can, keeping those abs controlled. If I were to go too low and lose control, then the next exercise, I'd just make sure that I'd go a little bit higher. With the... Um, where was I? So that's, that's your neutral explained, your imprinted position explained. So you're just making sure those abs have got the control. The other major thing is that you don't dome your abs. What I mean by that, so if I'm here and I dome my abs, let's just see if I can kind of get you to see. If I dome my abs, so this is me nicely pulled in. This is me with my abs doming out and back in. So it's actually quite hard to do when you're used to doing it the right way. So you're pulling in, that's also hard to do. But then when you reach out, see how I've developed this little pot belly of muscle there. So we need to make sure that our deeper abdominal muscles are working to hold us in. So the, there's a transverse abdominus muscle, which is almost like a belt, and it attaches to your spine all the way round. So it's really the one muscle that is going to help strengthen and support your spine the most of all your abdominal muscles. If 
we start to see this doming out, all that means is that your six pack, which is really superficial, it just attaches to your symphysis pubis down here, so into the pubic bone, and it attaches up through to the ribs. So it's got no attachment to your back whatsoever. So if you see that doming out, you're overworking those muscles and you're underworking the really deep uh, postural muscles that we want to get working. I hope you're still with me. So, a way of um, seeing this is if you were to um, just let your, your tummy hang out and you're in neutral spine and then you pull the belly button in, so pulling in, that's transverse abdominis, okay? Notice I wasn't doing that. That's not transverse abdominis. That's just you tilting your pelvis, getting rectus abdominis switching on again. And so as soon as you get into a hard position, that's gonna start bulging. So it's that pull in of the belly button without rounding of your back. So a few different exercises you can do if you're not too sure on this one. It's really good to get gravity to help you. So gravity just lets your belly drop. You can have your hand on your stomach if you want to, or you can just look at it side on in a mirror. And from here, same thing, you're going to pull that belly button up without your back rounding and then relax it. And pull that belly button up. So get used to that movement. So if I say pull your belly button in, that's what I'm after. I'm not after that. Also, pelvic floor. Super important, stops us from wetting ourselves when we sneeze. So you need to think about a hammock at the very base of your spine and you're kind of trying to tighten it and pull it up. That, that's kind of a, a crude explanation of what pelvic floor is like. So it tightens up from below. So if you're sitting down, you can kind of get a bit of feedback from the ground on this one. I want you to imagine that you are stopping yourself from farting. Yeah, so you're really squeezing your back passage, but also you're stopping yourself from going for a wee. So you wanna squeeze the front as well. So it's a dual pull up, not just one or the other. Both of them are kind of pulling up at the same time. Some people can really overdo this though and really go and grip too much. So what you're after is that gradual pull and imagine an elevator just at the bottom of your spine and you're trying to get it up to your belly button. Now I don't actually want it to get to your belly button because then you've done it too much. So imagine that elevator and it kind of just comes halfway to the belly button and then you're gonna let it go. And that's your pelvic floor. So pull the pelvic floor up, elevator halfway up and then back down. A way of testing this is if you have your hands, dig them into your hip bones, really dig them in and then pull your pelvic floor up. Now you should feel the fingers, the muscles underneath the fingers tightening. If you feel the muscles underneath pushing out, then you've gone too far, okay? So then you've overly lifted and you've started to activate too many other muscles. So see if you can do that. Just pull up, nice gentle pull. If you Go too far, go all the way up to your belly button and now feel those muscles push out. So it's a, it's a subtle movement. Try and do both at the same time now. So I want you to do your pelvic floor and pull your belly button into the spine at the same time and then maybe move a little bit and see if you can keep it held. So it's easy when we're still to do this. It can be quite challenging for those that have kind of lost those muscles, but it's the easiest when we're still. So practice this in the car or um, just when you're sitting watching telly or something. It's a lot harder when we start to move. So I want you to start practicing when you're moving as well. Even shopping, walking around the supermarket. Practice, see if you can hold them in. Now fast twitch and slow twitch, we want both. Slow twitch are postural muscles. So they hold for a very long time, which if you're standing for long periods of time during the day, those are the ones that you need to be strengthening. So you need to make sure that you're able to hold for a long period and support your spine. Fast twitch are the ones that stop us from wetting ourselves when we jump, sneeze, cough, laugh, whatever. So they quickly grip. We wanna work both. So I want you to focus on doing those elevator lifts 
and do really fast pulses. So that lift's coming up and down and up and down and up and down. And then I want you to hold that lift up for as long as you can. So hold it midway to the belly button for about 10 to 20 seconds or longer. You wanna see how long you can hold everything. So that's just a snapshot on abs. I hope that's helped. I hope when you do ab exercises now, you're gonna be a lot more conscious of what's going on and take it back a step. So if you've been doing them all wrong and you find that what you've been doing, you're arching or you're bulging your abs out or there's some horrible things going on, like when I come up into a sit up, bulging out as opposed to pulling in, if that's you, take it back a step because you're only gonna develop a little pot belly of muscle that sticks out. You're not gonna develop a nice toned abdominal abdomen that's that's pulled in so have a practice let me know if this has been helpful and also let me know if you have any issues with um, any of those things if you really struggle to do them um, maybe even post a video of you doing them and then I can have a look so um, go for it hope that helps go abs have a great day